Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog and the Caddis Fly Shop. I'm Jay Nicholas. We're going to have some more fun fly tying and product videos for you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so I, I want to take a moment and show you uh, this flash and slaking material. It's very nice. It, it has some little strands of flash in it. Uh, this is our bronze back, the pink, the white, and the olive. And this material is, uh, it, it's really nice. And you can blend these colors. Uh, it's all good stuff. So, there we go. And I am going to tie you a striper fly to Duxbury Clouser. Um, the materials, of course, are listed with links below. But the fun part here is to uh, is to evolve in the use of our clouser. Uh, this is a fly that I, I tied some of these for Chris when he went back to the East Coast and he caught many, many fish of great size on them. And I'm, I'm using Flash and Slinky and, and for the, the belly I'm going to combine some white and some pink. And this is, this is a fly style that I'm, I'm going to actually tie this in some different color variations. You see I'm, I'm putting, this, uh, putting this flash and slinky together with the white on the bottom and the pink above it. So it'll be kind of like that. And this, these flies, you can tie them anywhere from about a three inch length to something exceeding five inches. And why, now I'm, I'm gonna wind back a little bit and you'll see why in a, little, in, a little, in a little while. Now why would you want to vary the length that much? Well, um, it could simply be in relationship to the, the size. So if I flip this over, it's not gonna quite be centered, so. It'd be fine to tie on, but I'm going to just flip this hook over in my very fine regal stainless vise. And my assistant is going to tell me, is that hook kind of straight there? Got to go a little bit more? Is that straight enough? Okay. So, um, so uh, depending on the bait fish that are, so right now I'm using a, uh, this is a Fairflies brush, and this is a shrimpy, and it's got some tan, and it's got some pink, it's got some nice little striped uh, feelers on it. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a, uh, figure out where the wire is here. I'm going to take a couple of turns of this shrimpy brush before I put the wing on. And I'm going to do those back here. And forgive me, I didn't go into details of how to do a good job um, winding on the uh, the eyes, but we certainly have covered that many times before and we will cover it again. One of the, one of the things uh, a clouser tied with these brushes will do, it, it accomplishes a couple things. Of course it adds some color um, and it also um, Excuse me, it also adds some substance, some bulk, some volume to the fly. It gives it a slightly rounder profile. And these are my uh, surplus scissors. Cut the wire. And, and so your, your fly will be a little bit fuller, a little bit more volume. And that uh, that affects two things. One certainly affects the appearance of the fly, how, how the 
fish see it as a uh, a fur profile but it also affects how fast it will fall and rise through the water so with a brush on as opposed to just a straight flash and slinky it's going to fall a little bit slower it'll fall head down but not as fast so that uh, that that's real important uh, now I'm getting distracted the belly of this fly is white and pink the back is going to employ a uh, bronze back and olive the two material two colors combined and what we're doing here by by tying these flies with different color combinations we're in effect um, we're adapting to the various species of prey fish that the stripers might be uh, following so we've got our uh, we've got our brush on there and we've got our wing all set and I'm going to trim this in advance and then I'm going to put this on right here and here we go a little touch of magic super glue it is really funny to see the extent to which I'm using super glue at this point in my tying career versus even 10 years ago but who knows what I'll be doing 10 years from now I've got a pretty good idea and it may not be using super glue I'm building that head up a little bit. This is a Danville 210 Tenier Flat Wax Mono Chartreuse. Chartreuse Green, I should add. So let's see if I can take a look at this fly. Let's get it, get it a little bit of a combing. So you can see I think this fly has, because the brush, quite a bit of volume. And this is going to be a fly that falls very nicely and gives you that jigging motion. It's got the, uh, the A-Rex Predator Stinger hook. Uh, I, th I think Chris has shown uh, that this is a very effective fly. Get out there, give it a try, uh, and I hope you uh, have a good time on the water. Thank you.